checking out this video, don't forget, like and subscribe. Mercedes Monet almost returned to WWE last year. In her own Monet Mag newsletter, she Monet. revealed she planned on returning to WWE in 2023 at Mania 39. However, she decided against doing so after she got an invite from Tony Khan to attend All In at Wembley. Funny thing is that before last year's All In, I attended an L.A. Rams game at the new SoFi Stadium in L.A. Kevin and I, of course, were on the field for it. That's just how we roll. It was fun. But in the back of my head, I kept thinking, this is where WrestleMania is going to be. An enormous, beautiful stadium in the tinsel town, the City of Angels. How could Snoop's first cousin and a member of the Mandalorian cast not be there? Thus, at the end of the game, I leaned over to Kevin and said, I need to be here for Mania. And at that time, that's truly how I felt and what my plan was. Plan on return to Mania in L.A. That was, of course, before Tony invited us to see the show. Mind you, there were no discussions of signing with AW Zero. Tony, Kevin, and I had texted his friends. It was a casual invite. I wanted to go, not out of curiosity or to kick the tires, but honestly because I love wrestling. To this day, when I have the time, I still watch an indie show. Really continue to have that much passion for it. So she went... And she said, I knew it would be fun to watch. Deep down, I knew going there would help support the fellow workers and the rival organization. We need additional outlets as talent. And she said, uh, the fact they got 80,000 rabid fans and passionate fans to attend an event that wasn't mania blew me away. Made me excited for wrestling in a way I had not felt in a long time. By the end of the show, getting way ahead of ourselves, as my advocate Kev admits to doing so often, we were planning the very entrance you will see this year. So that's why she went to AW. She decided that this was the place to be. And now she'll be there again two years in a row. John Cena also signed a new deal with WWE. So he's out of here. He actually did a, an interview the other day and he goes, There is no amount of money that will get me to wrestle past December 2025. And now he reveals he's got an incredible amount of money to just not wrestle anymore with WWE. He has well, signed... Well, I think you are putting that in the most, uh, you know, there's there, there's another way to look at that, which is his in-ring career is wrapping up and he's already inked a Legends deal for apparently Brother, far beyond his this, wrestling career. Bro, this ain't no Legends deal, dude. They ain't signing John Cena to a Legends deal. You know how much a Legends deal are? Not a Legends deal. They're but virtually you know what nothing. I mean. Yes, he signed a near, and mid, that. and long term contract. Yes. This guy ain't going anywhere. He can do so now he doesn't need any that. money to do another match. He's going to have money as long as he's alive. Well, he doesn't probably need to be making any more movies. Either does The Rock with the way some of those have been received. So, you know what? You might as well just go ahead and hook up your, uh, your your wagon to the WWE horse and just continue to ride it until, you know, the horse dies or the wheels fall off. This guy That's says doing. there's always a price. Well, I don't think you're going like to see this one. Like Cena ain't coming back to wrestle after uh, December 2025. That's what he said. Yep. He's going to do 36 dates in uh, 2025, and then he's out of here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What a deal. What a deal that guy got. Good for title. John Cena. After amid rumors, he is going to sign a contract with AEW. Reigning Rev Pro Undisputed British Heavyweight Champion Michael Oku made his promotional in-ring debut Wednesday in a dark match. That's not a spoiler because it was a dark match. Is it his debut? Prior to the Dynamite Collision doubleheader in Cardiff, Wales, he and girlfriend and manager Amira Blair defeated Serpentico. A big win. For Michael Oku in that dark match. He is uh, turned into Steve Lombardi. He absolutely has. Everybody on their way in has got to step on. Oh, I thought you were talking about go. Michael Oku. I was like, what are no. you talking about? <laughs> Steve Lombardi? God. Uh, Horrible. He said, uh, regarding rumors that he'll sign, nothing is confirmed. He would be open to debuting at Wembley. He said it was cool the rumors exist. People believe it could happen. That he would like to work for AEW. Well, you know, there's uh, there's that gauntlet coming up. Anybody can be there. So we'll see. What do you think? Well. I think he'll sign. I think he, obviously, there's, he would love to sign, I'm sure. Well, that sounds like he's signing to me that. then. Hmm? Also, Hangman Page will be in London 
Despite not having a match scheduled for the show, he won't give away his plans, but he has some idea of what he wants to do. Well, let's see. We got a gauntlet match where the winner gets a world title shot. And currently, at least at this moment, the world title is on Swerve. So maybe he'll be in that match, or maybe he'll show up and he'll screw Swerve out of the title and give it to Brian Danielson. Yeah, maybe he'll just go to Nando's and buy some food for some of his friends. Honestly, the the simplest thing, I know people like clean finishes and everything, but if you look at the storyline from day one, Hangman needs to cost Swerve the title, and then it needs to be Hangman and Swerve at All Out, and Hangman gets his revenge. Because you can't possibly do this match for the fourth time and have Swerve win all four. It doesn't make any sense. So, Well, let me ask you a question then in that case. If you're doing a finish like that, even though you traditionally want to main event your pay-per-views with your world heavyweight champion, do you go ahead and put MJF in that spot with Osprey? I mean, I was curious. Brian Danielson is anyway, but if you're going to do a finish like that, that's even more excuse. I'm to have pretty Osprey sure go. Brian Danielson's doing the main event. Could be wrong, but we shall see. They very, very, very rarely do not headline with the AW title. But yeah, someone on the chat here goes, uh, "No more Swerve versus Hanger." You kidding me? Oh, come Are on. you kidding me? Hangman needs it. He needs to get his like, and I like, and I know Hangman can be a polarizing figure. I really like him, and I don't look at him as like this tail kicking Magnum TA care. I would like him to be, and he's got to turn into that. And I don't know if he's got that in him or not to really come across and really exude being dangerous and being a jerk, which everybody knows that he's not for real. But he's got to try to find that and channel that. And he's got to try to really get it where he's not such a cartoon because it's bordered on that. And I've liked some of it, but he's got to be, he's got to make people believe that he's really going to rip Swerve's head off. And he's really serious about causing chaos and really leaning into this. They need a big heel as much as they can anyway. I don't know if he's going to be that guy, but he's got to do everything he can because Swerve is going to be cheered in this. He's the one that people are going to like unless... Everything just turns completely upside down again. I don't think that's going to happen. So he's got to lean into this hard. So whatever he does, it has got to be visually violent and really, and I don't know how you do that since they've already been drinking each other's blood, but you got to make it as effective as you can. Otherwise, I can see people going, I'm done with this thing. Well, he did spend a lot of time in this interview talking about Swerve. He has something he should never have gotten in the first place. I've made it my mission that after he did what he did, he would never hold it. Because I always felt the AW World title was something that was earned. Not just through hard work and winning matches, but it was something, I don't know, cosmic about being right. Doing the right thing. Well, he's wrong about that. I set out to make it my mission that he would never hold it. Because someone who had done what he had done should never be allowed to hold that above their head to say that they are the best. Because he's not. He's the worst of humanity. But I was suspended. Gone for four months, had to sit at home, had to hear about it, had to see it, had to see him win it, had to see him carry it around, had to see the people cheer him when he came out with it. And it was, I don't know, it was just impossible. Impossible. Something that should have been impossible. He should never have won it. Shouldn't have it today, shouldn't have it tomorrow, it should be mine. So he's upset. He's yeah, upset. Yeah, he needs to also cut that promo, though, on TV with the right inflections at the right time to really make people believe it. And <laughs> then... And then Good. he had words about Brian Danielson. He said, I just want to draw a stark contrast to maybe how he feels about that championship and how I feel about it. I am not okay never holding it again. I'm not okay with it in the hands of the person that it's in. I would not be okay walking away from this in the state that things are right now. And if that's how he feels about it, about the championship, about the world champion, I can't say that I have any respect at all for that. Why was that not on TV a couple of weeks ago? Same with King. Because we don't want everyone on TV bearing Brian Daniels, and he is headlining the show. But a couple of weeks ago, we already you got have done it that. from uh, Eddie King. You should have done that, and it should be heels going after wishy-washy baby faces who might retire. You know what I mean? Like there should be a level of that, and that's good for Hangman. Obviously, look, that should be on TV. And again, him cutting that promo and being serious about it and caring about that title, all that stuff, perfect. 
perfect. He is a lifer of AEW. Danielson is always going to be recognized with WWE. There's always going to be people recognized from other places. I don't care what Jericho does in AEW. Most fans won't see him that way. Adam Page is their guy. He is the guy as far as that company goes. So, good. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.